Yo, what's going on, man? How y'all doing? Um, I feel like I'm always driving when I'm giving my opinions on this hip-hop shit. And it's true, I do a lot of driving, man. So, um, here's the deal. I was watching an interview with Clark Kent, and he was talking about the best rappers versus the best MCs or some shit. And, you know, I kind of understand where he's coming from because people often kind of do that. It's that whole lyricist, rapper, MC rapper kind of conversation, right? Which, I gotta be honest with you, I don't really fuck with. And I'll tell you why. I feel like a rapper's job is to bring flow to the team. That's the hardest thing to be as a rapper, is to have flow. That's why, and by flow, I mean like cadence and just... Your, your overall delivery, you know what I mean? Like how you sound on the record. I'm, I'm just bundling it all together. You know, when Rakim goes, when I'm flowing, right? Like, I'm talking about flow. To me, flow is the quintessential thing a rapper brings to the table. It's not lyrics, it's flow. Because if you can't flow, nobody wants to listen to you. You don't even give a fuck what you have to say. So if you can't flow, why are you rapping? And that's why I don't really get too deep into bars and shit like that. Even though I love a great rhyme. Trust me. I know a great rhyme when I hear one. And Nas is my favorite rapper ever. So I put rhymes up there. But I think it's it's so much more than that, man. Like Chris Rock once said, you know, rap isn't a computer printout, man. Like I just don't understand how people can sit there and talk about they judge rappers solely by what they write or whatever or like that's the first thing like nah man you gotta flow if you can't flow who gives a fuck almost anyone can write a decent rhyme now I understand that when it comes to this rap shit on a real deep level there's certain things with how you pattern your words pattern your words and how you arrange your shit that's so hip hop that then, you know, everyone can't do that. Like, you, you have to really be into hip-hop to kind of do that shit. I get that. But, overall, almost anyone can write. Anyone with a decent education with, like, you know, just try with a decent brain. Can write a rhyme, right? But very few people, in my opinion, can rap. Like, actually do it in a level where you go, damn, I actually want to hear that on a song. Because most people are garbage. That's the reality, man. Most people don't have the flow down. It takes years to get the flow down. That's why when you look at certain rappers and people go, oh, they fell off. If you keep it 100 and if you really look at their discography, it's usually their production and their flow that's fallen off. It's not their rhymes. They might be rhyming about the same shit they always were rhyming about. Shit, they might even have like stronger rhymes to a certain degree. But it's just that you don't feel them. Vocally, it's kind of whatever, the beats whatever, and that's, you know, that's that's really what makes a, a, a rapper, man. So I don't really get into all that. I, mean, I just wanted to kind of give my opinions, you know. Like when I say that Nas is one of the greatest rappers ever, and he's one of, and he's actually my favorite rapper. He's my favorite rapper because he has rapped over so many beats that I love, actually, and his voice is one of my favorites, straight up, Nas could be rambling a, bu- rambling a bunch of shit, and I would still like him, but then, of course, it just so happens that what he's saying on top is like, damn, that's why I'm saying with this rap shit, man, I, I think a lot of it is really just your flow, so, just some thoughts for y'all, later.